But if a non-Muslim comes and wishes me Merry Christmas, I will ask him that why are you celebrating this Christmas? So he will tell me that Christmas is the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So I will ask him, does the Bible say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December? And the answer is no. Nowhere does the Bible say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December. This 25th of December is the birthday of the pagan gods. Previously, the pagan gods, before the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Greek philosophy and in many other mythologies, they believed this was the birthday of their god. Some believed it was the birthday of sun god. And in different mythologies, in different philosophies, this was a common date, 25th of December. So the Christians, to make it easily acceptable by the people of that time, they started saying that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 24th of December. In fact, if you read the Bible, it says that Mary, may Allah have mercy on her, who was the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when she was pregnant and she was asked to shake the tree, dates fell. And we know that dates don't appear during winter. So from this we come to know that when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born, it was not winter, it was summer. So for sure, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not born in December, neither on 25th of December. So when a Christian asks me, I will start doing dawah to him. And I will say, who is the Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? He will try to tell me that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. So I will tell him that, can you point out a single unequivocal statement from your Bible, anywhere from your Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God, or where he says, worship me. And if you know your dawah very well, you can continue and you can prove. So during these occasions, if you are well versed with comparative religion, you can take this opportunity for calling them towards Islam. In no way can you agree with what they are doing is right. Allah clearly says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse 110, the verse I started this session with. Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin nas. O ye Muslims, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. The reason Allah calls us the khaira ummah, the best of people is, because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. We are called the Khaira Ummah, the best of people, because we are supposed to enjoin what is good and forbid what is wrong. So here we have to call them to the truth of Tawheed and forbid them from doing wrong. You cannot enjoin what is wrong. You cannot wish them on the festivals which is against the teaching of Islam. What you have to do is call them to Tawheed and to Dawah to them. And you can surely watch my video cassettes on similarity with Islam and Christianity, on was Jewish Christ, peace be upon him, crucified, is Jesus God, and various cassettes which will give you information on how you can convey the message of Islam to the Christians during this festival of death.